Hi everybody and welcome to my class. Um, I think this is about 30 minutes. It's a hip opener class. Um, you may need some blocks and you may need a strap. You could use books if you don't have blocks or maybe a sturdy shoe box, anything that looks like that would be fine. Um, straps, you could use a dressing gown strap with belts, any belt that length, that's fine. So we want to be placing our props here so they're ready if we need them. And strap just off the mat, just here. Okay. You also might need like either a bolster, a cushion, or a rolled up towel, something, something like that. Um, if you have any knee or hip injuries or any pain, it is best to seek medical advice. I think I put that in the description before. So it's best, best to check that we do have modifications. So let's take it to the mat. Binding, cross-legged, easy, easy seat. You can use your blocks here if you need to. You can even sit on a block if that's more comfortable as that you do. Just be comfy. Ah, so starting off, cupping hands over knees, drop the chin, close the eyes. Ah. Rooting your sit bones into the mat. Feeling a heaviness in the abdomen down and the lightness in the abdomen. Just breathing in through the nose. Three Notice how you're feeling and how you would like to feel and carry that with you during this practice. Try and think of each breath being energizing and positive. Every inhale is inhaling positive. And every exhale is releasing negative thoughts. So let's take the right hand, place it on the lower abdomen. We're just going to do some. Deep breathing in through the nose, and then through the mouth, keep your eyes closed. Feeling the belly rise with air, breathing in. Up into your chest and your shoulders. You can do some ocean breaths, or like you're steaming up that makeup mirror. That's got filthy with lots of foundation. Sometimes that mine does. So breathing in to the belly, and then rise into the nose. And steam at that mirror. Okay. More. Are you ready? Open your eyes. Take your hands, fingertips to the sides of you, not too far back. Just mid-thigh, 
And we're just going to lean into the right hand, sweeping the left arm up and over, breathing in. And exhale through center, other side. Inhale. Warm, inhale, back to central, arms rise up, breathe in, twist, right hand on left knee, other hand behind, twist, back to center, inhale, and twist. Center at the side. One more back to center. Inhale. Twist. Center. Arms come up all the way. Let's climb that rope. Imagine climbing a rope. Really get into that side body. Look up. Keep breathing. Keep reaching get into that side body. You know, we're not quite at the top of the rope yet. And just if the arms are shaped. So the wrists in the way, one way, other way. And some shoulders. Big circles, punching them up to the ears, back, squeezing the shoulder blades forward. Big circles. Great. Great. Let's take our legs and look in front of us. Wait not. Cross the knee up, cross the right foot over. You can stay here, and you can bend the left leg, bring the heel close to your sit bones. Make sure you are evenly on your sit bones here. So whether your legs out in front of you, or tucked under, sit bones rooted. Okay. Right hand behind. Breathe in, arm comes up. Hug the leg, exhale and twist. Couple of breaths. Try to think about pulling your navel in towards your spine. So you're pulling your tummy away from your thigh. It gives you a little bit more space to twist. It's quite hard if you're just when you need go. There's so much space there, so breathe it. In, suck the belly in, and you've got a little bit space. One breath. Back to center. Untuck the left leg. Uncross the right, coming down in front. And left. Knee comes up, cross it over. Make sure the sit bones are rooted. Either stay here or tuck that leg under, so you heel. 
is close to your sit bones that are both rooted. So the blade or the outside of your foot is pressing into the mat. The left hand behind you, arm comes up, inhale. And hug. twist, sucking the belly in. One more breath. And exhale and twist back to center and tuck the leg. And cross the leg and then in front. Shift. Bring the knees up. Heels close to sit bones. Bring the soles and feet together. And let the knees drop. You can use your blocks. That helps. Clasp your big toes. Thumb and forefinger. First finger. So you're not actively pressing your knees to the mat. You're just letting them, let them drop. So you're rooting your sit bones. Chest is high. Gaze is forward. Spine is long, pulling up through the crown of your head. You can stay here, or maybe you could just lean, but keeping that spine straight over your legs. Little lean. If you have problems with your knees, it's fine to have them further up and to use those blocks. Don't be scared to use your blocks, it's fine. Maybe you can move these out. A little bit, but keep that spine, you know, rounding at the back. Breaths here. Up. Drop the knees together. Let them drop to the front of the mat. And come on to all fours, tabletop. Okay. So, fingers nice and wide. You don't need to have your toes tucked because we're coming into child's pose after. So, shoulders stacked with the wrists, knees hip distance apart. And we're going to tuck our chin in and broaden, pushing out through the shoulders, broadening those shoulder blades. Inhale, chest comes up, gaze up, sit bones, tailbone, back and up. Exhale, chin comes in, pushing through the shoulders, broaden those shoulders. Inhale, chest up. Let's do two more. Chin down. Broad shoulders. And now just come back to sit on your heels. Splay the knees to about the width of your mat. So you've got room for your torso, crawling your hands. So the torso is coming between your knees. Keep crawling until you can rest your forehead on the mat. Child's pose, extended child's pose. Couple breaths here. And crawl the fingers back up, pushing into the mat. All the way back up. Bring your knees together. Lean on your hands. Tuck the toes. Come up into the crouch and stand up. Walk to the top of your mat. Starting in Tadasana. Next bit. 
So toes can be touching or hip distance apart, doesn't matter, whichever suits you. Rooting, find that central grounding point, just walking back to your heels, toes, until you find that grounding point. Lift the toes and root them into the mat. Pull the kneecaps up, suck the belly in, shoulders down, arms by your sides, chin parallel with the floor, standing tall, pulling through the crown of your head. Standing tall, Tadasana. Sweep the arms up, inhale. Externally rotate the hands out to the sides, hinging at the hips, soft knees, towards your blocks, which are here, hopefully, or to your shins, or to the floor. Crown of head to the mat. Breathe in, come onto your fingertips, crown of head forward. Plant the palms down, take the right leg back, Left leg back, shoulders stacked over wrists, pushing out through your feet and then to the mat with your hands. Drop the knees, keep the elbows in tight and bend the elbows coming down, lifting your tailbone up, chest touches the mat, chin touches the mat. Eight points of contact. Two toes, two hands, chest, and chin. Flip the feet, scoop through, and slide onto your forearms, fingers splayed, elbows, under shoulders, feet hip distance apart, sphinx pose, chest, proud, breathing in. Exhale, come down. Slide the hands back over your shoulder, under your shoulders, tuck the toes, sit bones back to your heels, tailbone, sit bones up to the sky, and to downward dog. Crown of head to mat, sucking belly in, tailbone up and back. Shoulders are away from ears, biceps are level with ears. Neck is soft. Let's pedal and breathe. And now look up between your hands and walk to the top of the mat. Deep forward fold, soft knees, head hands, and head to mat. And come up vertebrae by vertebrae. All the way back to Tadasana, stand tall, pulling through the crown of your head, rounded feet, belly in, engaged quads. Breathe in, arms come up. Rotate the hands out to the sides, hinge at the hips, soft knees all the way down to your blocks or your shins or the floor. Deep forward, fold, crown of head to the mat. Halfway lift, crown of head forward, plant the palms left, leg back, right leg back. Shoulders are stacked to wrists, pushing out equal force here. Drop the knees, keep the elbows in tight. Bend the elbows coming towards the mat, chest first, then chin. Inhale, scoop through the shoulders, flip the feet. Slide onto your forearms, fingers laid, elbows under shoulders. Deep breath in. Exhale, come down. Sliding the hands back to your shoulders, tuck the toes, sit bones back to heels, and up to the sky, and down the dog. Pedal. Remember to suck that belly in, tailbone up and back. Now soft knees here, but we're pedaling. Crown of head to mat. I'm looking between my feet. 
If you're looking anywhere else, that's not right. You want to be here, shoulders pushing gently towards the mat. And just walk to the top of the mat. And then do all the folds, soft knees, use your blocks if you need to. And roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Back to Tadasana, standing tall. Remember all the points work from the mat up. Now stepping your right leg back, not too far, just a little step. I've got to go left and turn to face the right side edge of your mat. So you should be facing me. Yes, okay, that's good. So now, we want to be a little bit wider than hip distance. Toes pointing out slightly, heels in slightly, tucking the tailbone under. Standing tall. With the crown of your head, gaze forward, arms come up to the side, shoulders are down, away from the ears. Bend the arms 90 degrees, palms facing forward, cactus arms. And we're going to squat down. We're going to take our sit bones down towards the mat. One breath in first. Exhale, come down. Keep that torso vertical. Keep the tailbone tucked under. Knees stacked over ankles. Chin up. And hip circles. Make them big. Just because it feels good. I'm clunking. That's what happens when you get to my age. Okay, so arms come back up, tailbone is under, so your bum's not sticking out. So if you try to squat down then, you're going to lean and maybe fall forwards. So tuck it in. Bend arms. Breath in. Exhale, come down. Now this time we're going to lean right arm on right leg. Just lean. Left arm comes up and over. Inhale, exhale through centre, other side. Inhale. And look up as well and do your arm. One more. Oh. Ah, you come up. Feel that. Ooh, big circles. And don't forget to breathe. You could even do figure of eights. Why not? Soft knees, though. Unless it's a bit weird. Okay. Arms come up. Bend the arms, cactus arms, deep breath in, and squat down. This time, so tailbone in, lift the right heel, drop it down, lift the left, drop it down. See if you can lift both, you got the deeper, but tuck that tailbone in, come up. Big circles. Remember to go each way. So. Okay. Hands to heart center, prayer hands to heart, shoulders away from ears. Feet in the same position. You may need your blocks for this one. That's why hopefully you've got them near to your mat. Put your breaths here.
breath in. Breathe out, and we're gonna squat all the way down. Elbows inside the knees. Use your block if you need to. That helps, it does, or maybe not. Up to you. Keep the torso upright, the chest up, chin parallel with floor, gaze forward. Let's do some leaning into each hip. Right. Yogi squat, such a good hip opener. Mm, just rest. Doesn't matter if your heels don't touch the floor yet, that will come. Practice. But you can use your block, whatever you have. Okay. Our hands, release, fingertips to floor, and just find your bum on the mat. Lovely. And now leaning into your hands, just turn yourself around so that your toes are facing the front of the mat. Knees are still pointing up. Arms come up parallel with each other, and we're just going to roll down slowly to the mat, bow. Bring the heels up to your sit bones. Bring your knees up to your chest and the soles of feet, pointing to the ceiling. And you may need to have your knees wider so that they're either side of your torso. Taking your feet, the outside blade, clasp the feet. Make sure your entire spine is in contact with the mat. So keeping your sacrum pressing into the mat, not lifting up, press it in. Pressing into the soles of your feet, pressing your knees towards the mat. Just enjoy this. Happy baby. Deep breaths. Release the grip on your feet, bring your soles of your feet back to the mat. Bring them to the edges of your mat now. And I'm just going to do what I call windscreen wiper legs. So we're going to let them bring your arms out to a T and we're going to let them drop to the left. And to the right. If you want to, you can exaggerate this by just pressing that right knee down and your hip comes up. You don't have to. Oh, feeling some clunking going on in the sacrum. That's good. Wind screen. Okay. Okay. Bring your hands Right. So, heels back up to sit bones. You may need your strap, so have it ready. You may not. We're going to cross right leg and rest, flexing the foot on your left thigh. Pushing the knee outwards to the side. And if you need your strap, you can just hook it around your left thigh and grip as close as you can to your leg. And we're going to pull, we're going to keep the entire spine again in contact with the mat, back of the head, the whole of the spine, the sacrum. And we're going to pull that knee into the chest. If you can, clasp with your hands 
hand comes through the gap, clasp behind that left leg and pull that knee in. Lovely stretch. Couple of breaths. And release them to the floor. Uncross the leg. And we'll do the other side. So crossing left foot, flexed foot over the right thigh. Feels completely different on this side. I've got definitely wonky hips. So again, you can use your strap behind your right thigh this time, or you can use left hand, thread it through the gap, remember to point that knee out to the side, just notice. So threading the left hand through, clasp behind the right thigh or use your straps, keeping your back, the whole of your spine in contact with the mat, and pull, the knee gently into your chest. I can't get it as far on this side. Keeping the foot flexed. Breaths. Please do some windscreen wipers, so feet a bit wider. What's wide as your mat? Falling to the left and the right. Come back up, knees still pointing up. Bring them up to your chest, clasp just beneath your knees and pull your knees into your chest, keeping again all of your spine in contact with the mat. Couple of breaths. You want to do some circles, massaging that lower back, the sacrum. Little circles and the other way. Release soles feet to the mat. Mm -hmm. Arms come out wide away from your sides, palms facing up. Let the left leg drop, the right leg drop up the mid back. Now, if you need to make any adjustments, if you need a cushion for under your back here and maybe under your knees, just get comfy. We're in Shavasana. Let the feet splay. Oh, you just let it go. Notice how you're feeling now, to how you felt at the beginning of the class. Hopefully, a good release. Feel yourself sinking into the mat, maybe floating with the mat, closing your eyes, breathing in. Feel free to stay in Shavasana for as long as you want. Well, if you're ready, you can just look at those fingers. So, wrists, stretch the toes. 
ankles. Stretch with the toes. Ooh, roll over onto your side. And push yourself up into a seated position. Hands to heart center. Prayer hands. The forehead to the floor. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. Hope you enjoyed my class. And I look forward to seeing you on the map next time. Take care. Bye.